Hello, everyone. I am Rabbi Steve Gross. I am a Madrachim graduate from the early 1980s. Here's a picture of me. I'm the guy in the orange with the guitar. Ima took a rather hyper guitar playing kid and channeled all of that energy into something positive. And it fundamentally changed my life. It changed who I wanted to be, what I wanted to do with my life, and uh, has shaped my approach to Jewish education as a rabbi. A story that is most commonly told about me is that when I was in fifth grade Hebrew camp, I liked to hang upside down on the top bunk pretending like I was a bat. To get more information about that story, you have to speak to Ima herself as she had to deal with frustrated madrachim as they tried to um, tame this crazy kid. This crazy kid is now in Houston serving as a rabbi and uh, Madrachim played a huge role in who I am and uh, how I approach Jewish life and education. Hats off to Madrachim. Madrachim was just one of the, the first communities that I really felt a part of and not only just felt a part of but really felt like a, a place where I was accepted and belonged. Hi, my name is Stacy Coleman. I was a madricha here at Congregation Beth Israel starting in 1979, which I think was about three centuries ago. So uh, part of the greatest period of my upbringing, bringing, this was um, where I, I met and have maintained friendships for more than 50 years. Uh, my kids are now, my daughters are also in the madrachim program now, and uh, this was a time of great happiness for me. It's over here. <laughs> oh no, I put a fork in Ma's leg. Oh. Oh. Or, or if you have a napkin, uh, Ma Pete is napkin. This is the only reason I know these words. And so you, <laughs> <laughs> so you spill something and then you mop it up with your napkin. Oh, yes. And we still are continuing the tradition to this day. No. Yes. So that I remember just working as a co-teacher, sometimes there were kids that just, like, Sarah Price is a first grader, was this, like this incredibly bright kid. I was like, wow, this is gonna be an amazing, you know, human being when they get older. And yeah, she was wonderful. So when you meet again, these people when they're adults, and you remember them as like really, really special kids. I mean, that that is really meaningful too. Yeah. My name is Harper Schwartz. I'm a MIT at CBI, and I want to become a Madraha to continue my studies and to teach others more about Judaism. I'm Naomi Zemmer, and I'm a MIT at CBI. I want to become a Madraha to connect students to Judaism in a fun way. Continuity! I think the Madrahim program is really special because what they're doing is they're believing in kids in a way that other adults wouldn't necessarily believe in those kids. and. They, I've never been let down by a Madrahim once. And I think that's the most impressive thing about the program is that no matter what generation, no matter what grade, no matter what kids are coming through, every single Madrahim has stepped up and lived up to the expectation of what it means to be a Madrahim. And it's so impressive to see that type of continuity throughout um, each generation. The friends that I made in the Madrahim program are still some of my closest friends today. Yes, I had friends in Biddy and Showbiz, and those people are incredibly important to me. But the friendships that are made in the Madrachim program are really the ones that have that connective tissue that keep us connected to the Jewish community, not only in San Diego, but wherever we are in the Jewish world. You know, we were one of the closest... No, 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 no. We were the... That's true. We were the closest class. We were fun. We were friends. A little obnoxious. Now. And what we learned our entire time at Beth Israel has continued into our lives. And I would say at least our strong group of friends is committed and dedicated to Judaism. You know, one thing that we can say is that we're still dedicated to this temple and very grateful for all the things that it has done for us.
When I first began teaching at Beth Israel, Dr. Larry Myers was our director of education. One day, a young man was sent to the office for misbehaving in class. Larry asked him what the problem was, and the young man said that he was bored. So Larry asked him, what do you like to do? What's of interest to you? And the boy said, I love to take pictures. I want to be a photographer. And so Larry set up a photography lab in our art room. And this young man became our photographer for everything that Beth Israel was doing at the time. Well, today, Frank Smith is a rabbi in London where he has created many books on photography. Larry Myers taught me a great deal on how to discover what was behind behavior. I have used his lessons for the past 50 some years. So if you'd like to actually record yourself saying a fun Majahim memory, you can grab a friend or family member to help you record it on a phone. And in our YouTube description, you'll find my email so you can send us the video.